What up, y'all? Justin Gay, see what these ads do. This is how I built our new salad bubbler. As you could probably hear, it's pretty windy out here right now, and being under the canopy was just too loud, the way it was just whipping around. So I decided to go ahead and shoot it out here. I really wanted to get this video out, so here we go. Basically, a greens bubbler is now a large tub of water that is agitated by the use of a uh, jacuzzi blower. And basically what it does is allows me or other market gardeners to wash a lot of greens at one time. For example, we used to only be able to water right about three to five pounds of greens at a time we can now wash up to 25 pounds of greens at a time i got this idea from curtis stone of course so you should really check out that video and see how he gets down with his i'm using an 85 gallon tub you can make these things any size you want really i've seen them as big as a uh, like a 25 gallon tote all the way up to about what i have now to even bigger than that it really just depends on the amount of greens that you're growing so you know don't 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 really trip on that. Now I'm really glad that we did go with that 85 gallon tub, uh, seeing that I have a lot more room I feel to kind of move around in. We can now use the nets from our greens dryer, just put that directly into the spinner and spin it away. We are still doing things manually here, so uh, these baskets probably will be replaced. Everything that I got for this build was bought at Home Depot. I got the tub from Tractor Supply. The blower that I'm using is a one horsepower hydro quip. And I got the blower actually from Hydroquip's website. PVC size we're using is one and a half inches. Fittings, I use five 90 degree elbows, one three way and one four way. I'm cutting all my PVC pieces to size because I really don't want to use that much uh, PVC glue if I don't have to. I cut four pieces at eight and a half inches. one piece at three and a half inches. And then I cut another three pieces at 28 and a half inches. You wanna make sure that there's some space in between the manifold and the uh, actual tub. I've just been keeping a screwdriver nearby to loosen this thing up so I can do this. Pull this guy out. Now I can go take it over to the wash table and I'll blast it off when it comes time to clean it. And then when we put it back, pretty simple, we'll just slide right back in. And then I tighten it down. And this, still, this is still kind of like a work in process. This is most of the things around our plot are. We kind of allow the function to find the form. Seeing that the blower is fairly light, I just went ahead and used some two by fours right about six feet. It's right about as tall as I am. I just want to make sure that the blower and more, more importantly, the connectors to the blower aren't going to come in contact with that much water or any water at all. I went ahead and just attached the uh, two by four directly to the pallet. That's actually in between the bubbling tub and the tub that we're going to be using as our sump tank. I then made a quick little base just to really make sure that this thing couldn't wobble over and fall or anything like that. You probably don't need to make these little feet, but you know, I figured why not? I had the wood, I had the time, go ahead and do it. Like I said, that blower is not heavy at all. The structure isn't gonna be permanent, although if it needs to be permanent, it, it totally can. I attached to the now standing two by four, two more little cross pieces just to attach the uh, blower to. Totally just ran out of screw. No, I didn't. Next thing to deal with is the electrical. I removed the connector that came with the blower, replace it with the connection that is uh, for standard American use. I just connected green to the green and then connected the other two uh, cables together. You can get these things pre-spliced at Home Depot. Next, I use a two inch hole saw to create a hole for the drainage. To create the drain, I used, again, another one and a half inch PVC pipe, as well as a one and a half inch valve. This is gonna allow me to control the flow of water off, on. I just wrapped a bunch of the uh, sealing tape around the PVC pipe. It's gonna make a seal between the tub and the PVC pipe, making it to where no leaks are gonna be coming out of the uh, bottom of the tank. And even if they do, it's really not that big of a deal. It's just gonna drop it to the tank below. Now, one thing that I wish I had done was buy two of those tubs. One could have been for the top, actual bubbler piece, and the other could have been more suited for the actual uh, sump tank. Right now, I'm using the 40 gallon tote for my sump tank, which is right about half of the water 
that can be held in the bubbler. There's no way in the world we're filling this tub up to 85 gallons. We're actually still using right about the same amount of water that we were using uh, when we were doing our um, washes before. We have a sump pump inside of the sump tank which pumps the water to other places on the plot, like to our compost and to a couple of trees we have out on the plot. I might actually go ahead and make a filter so we can actually start running it through some of our lines maybe. I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not, but it might be worth a try. Next, I just started drilling a bunch of holes. Now let's go ahead and try this thing out. It's so sweet. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to hit the little notification button up on the corner and to uh, subscribe. It really helps out a lot. Peace.